The National Forest and Tree Planting Act of 2003 decentralised forest management to lower levels, including district governments, communities and private, individual actors. The reform allocated new rights to these actors. For example, the NTFPA created community forests, which did not legally exist prior to this. This act granted management, maintenance and control of forest areas to forest adjacent communities forest user groups and communal land associations. The Act also created Collaborative Forest Management, CFM, which did not exist before. Under CFM, a community forest user group or other organised group can enter into an agreement with the Forestry Authority for the purpose of managing a central or local forest reserve. This Act also allowed private owners of registered forests to manage the forests. The reform also saw the establishment of supportive institutions, such as the Forest Sector Support Department, which formulates policy, and the National Forest Authority, NFA, which implements policy. The reforms of the sector of forestry, uh, for management of the forestry estate, uh, were moving along with the reforms in the land sector. Because, uh, you know, it's difficult for you to separate uh, reform in the land with the reform on forests, because the forests are found on this land. But if you are managing the resource, you are managing for the people. And if you are managing for the people, are they involved in still on management for effective sustainability? So then government also had to start thinking outside the box to come up with the new legislation, to come up with the new reforms that are pro-people, where people can participate uh, actively in the management of the forest resource. We've uh, did reform of the sector in terms of uh, which institutions are managing or which uh, kind of estates of forestry in the country. A new body called the National Forestry Authority, NFA, came into being and then we had another body instituted known as the District Forest Services and uh, the district local government and the remnant of the forest department was renamed and it became to be known as the forest sector support department which is an overseer uh, to the national forest authority and also an overseer to the district forest services and uh, various district local governments. There are four categories of forests recognized, the central forest reserves under uh, the mandate of National Forest Authority. Then we have the local forest reserves which are under the district local governments. We have community forests which are managed by a community at community level and then we have the private forest reserves which are individual or company, company managed. The National Forestry Authority is tasked with ensuring the sustainable and proper management of the 506 central forest reserves in the country. In some of these CFRs, NFA works with district local governments and forest dependent communities through CFM. The communities are encouraged to form partnerships with the National Forest Authority to manage the forests under what we call collaborative forest management. The developers of these guidelines put an elaborate system. Some are even trials, some are tests. You try this before you go to step number this. You try this, go to step number this. Has it worked? Try it out for a few months and see. Uh, get the concept of the other partner. Get back to paper until maybe two, three years, when you can say, yes, I'm confident enough that I can work with this partner in the management of this forest under a collaborative forest management, and therefore it's even going to a formal agreement that clearly spells out the roles of each partner, the responsibilities, and, uh, and functions. Kwegamba. Tula bili la ichibila kino, nga tukua tanila wamo ne NFA. Mungkwale yeyo, tujiita CFM. Enu ni ukonyo wanma kabiri makanyi. Megu wako buwa enu ni wek. Peki majo wango, nyo wek peki balo. Wan wano yen kiye, kahiyan mautu wane. Kidong 
my couple one born in the corner of Ben and Mitchell, but God will cut being a tree board on my bay, cover to keep warm my bay, come in. As forest managers, we are very thin on ground, but with the involvement of the communities, there is better management of the central forest reserves. There are some challenges to the implementation of these reforms. Inadequate budgets, which constrain the implementation of activities aimed at securing local community rights. Onerous processes for obtaining registration and permits, which can take years to complete. Lack of knowledge on rights and policies and lack of compliance to rules by communities. Unlike in the past, uh, what I see over the last 15 years or so is that uh, government has started to be much closer and engage more with the non-state actors. We've been working on um, this 10-year project, uh, Global Comparative Study, coordinated through CIFO. We used an approach called Adaptive Collaborative uh, Management of Forestry, which is an approach that uh, empowers communities and enables those communities to negotiate for their rights uh, more. And we've seen this in central Uganda uh, happen for some of the communities that have come into an arrangement with uh, the responsible body of the National Forest Authority to, to negotiate under the CFM arrangement. Other challenges to forest tenure reform implementation include political influence and ineffective coordination among state actors, as well as between state actors and non-state actors and in certain cases, population expansion. Increased demand for energy and agricultural products create pressures that impede reform implementation. The Ministry of Lands pursues the registration of, uh, uh, of, uh, of land through a process for the community, uh, for, for the communal land, the land system. They, they issue what they call the Certificate of Community Ownership, which is issued by uh, the Ministry of Land, and that is for the land. And uh, now the certificate for the forest is issued by the Ministry of Water and Environment, where the Forest Sector Support Department is housed. And these two ministries have not been talking on the same issue. So there is need for these two ministries to constantly exchange ideas. According to the policy and according to the New Forestry Act, these three main bodies were supposed to be like they, 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 they are collaborators. They were supposed to be like they are working hand in hand. They are supporting each other. But of course, there have been also challenges on the way. Uh, sometimes uh, maybe conflicts of interest come in, and the other body thinks they are sapping your, their, their powers by another body. Then they say, no, that is not your role. That is our role. Management of the forest resources truly is not a, it is not a government thing per se it is it is something that needs to bring everyone on board multi-stakeholder forums gather together government agencies community representatives ngos and other actors in order to develop solutions to the barriers to tenure reform implementation the solutions identified included improving coordination among key government agencies improving stakeholders' technical and financial capacity through traditional and emerging innovative financing mechanisms, and implementing policies and strategies designed to provide alternative likelihood sources for communities, thereby reducing local dependence on forests and forest products.